Good afternoon, I'm Dwayne Carpenter, Sports Information Director here at West Virginia Wesleyan College, and joining me for this week's Cross Country for the Men's and Women's Cross Country Coaches Corner is Head Coach Jesse Skiles. Jesse, thanks for being here. I appreciate it, Dwayne. And uh, we'll just start off the top. Congratulations. Uh, for those not aware, uh, the cross country teams, both men's and women's, won the WVIC championships over at Glenville State this week. Uh, just an amazing day. If you weren't there, shame on you. Uh, you should have been there supporting the uh, Bobcat cross country teams. But Jesse, congratulations on, on bringing back two WVIC championships to West End. I appreciate it. No, I just feel really, really blessed uh, to have the kids that we have. And they really laid it on the line. Tough course, tough conditions, you know. And, uh, and even though the women, we're not underdogs going in. They became underdogs when you know we lost the Rain of Conway Thursday night, uh, Friday night before the race, and the men going in ranked fourth, and to be able to get in and share that with the, with Seton Hill was uh, tremendous. Just very very proud of the efforts. As you said, the conditions that it rained, the course was uh, soft, muddy, uh, to say the least. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the women first. As you said, your number two runner Conway sprained an ankle, I believe, uh, testing out the course early in the week. So that really put your team behind the eight ball uh, going into it. But your ladies uh, ranked so strong and still came away with the title. That is the eighth championship in a row for the women and 14 out of the last 15. Uh, could, you, could you talk a little bit about the gut check from your women, uh, 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 the depth of the team picking up the, the pace there, I, uh, losing Conaway? I'll tell you, uh, we, the timing of it, it happened you know, during the women's JV race, so we couldn't replace her. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we have, you know, had to run a woman down Saturday, and you know when it happened Friday night, you could feel the morale kind of just get sucked out of them a little bit, and dinner was a little, you know, a little tense. But when we, you know, ate breakfast Saturday morning, you know, I could tell it, it, it was different that they done put that behind them and they were ready, ready to to come out and give give it what they had, and uh, it, they needed all of it. And it was it was tight race. Now, Jenna Brock was the top finisher for the Lady Bobcats. She took runner-up honors. Uh, could you talk about her performance? Um, Jenna is a special athlete, and she's that was her third time All-Conference. Mm -hmm. And in the history of this program, uh, there's been a lot of uh, you know good runners, but there's only been two, uh, three. There's only been three that's ever been four-time All-Conference. Three athletes, and she's got a shot to be the fourth one, you know, next fall. So you know, we're hoping you know everything can work out along those lines and. Uh, and uh, you know, but it was it was a gutsy race. She ran a smart race and uh, reeled some people in. She got beat by uh, you know for the and with the MVP honors there by you know Sherry Borsos from AB who ran a, a very strong race and uh, you know really you know a lot of props to her. Uh, but Jenna, really proud of the effort, uh, both and, and the leadership she showed. Turning our attention to the men's side, uh, the men have now won three out of four WBIC titles. Uh, we had ten runners, or excuse me, three runners finish in the top ten. Nate Edwards was second, Scott McCoy was third, and Barry Franklin was ten. So a very good job by the men. And uh, let's backtrack just a little bit, preface this. The men were ranked fourth going in to the WVIC championships and wound up winning it all. It's the first time a team that low has ever went into the championships and won it. I mean, just... I mean, what can you say about it? I mean, a huge, huge upset. Not saying your team didn't have a chance going in, but to be ranked fourth and to pull off this victory, that must have been an, an exciting, uh, oh, an emotional my. feeling there. It's just amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, Nate, you know, Nate's Nate, you know, he's a big star, and he, uh, you know, he came up big. And then uh, Barry Franklin, you know, had struggled in that course two weeks earlier, so he really had, had to, to bring it up. And uh, Skylar McCoy finished third. He wasn't even ranked. Yeah, in the individual runner rankings, and what he did on the men's side as a freshman, you know, kind of complement what Ashley Laven did, did on the women's side, came up and ran number two for us. Uh, I mean, it's really, really picked up the teammates and uh, oh, great effort. Great. You know, we didn't think we uh, we had won it. You know, mm -hmm. we thought we were a few points behind until right before the awards, and you know, and I had to kind of conceal my happiness there for a second or two. <laughs> you know? And uh, but it was uh, you know a nice scene when it was announced. Yeah, for those that weren't aware, uh, unofficially we thought the Bobcats were going to finish in second place, a couple points behind Seton Hill, and uh, just found out that we, we did win. Uh, he let us, uh, Mitch Baston, my uh, assistant at SIDME, uh, he let us know that we did win. And when they announced that your team had tied for first with Seton Hill, uh, the entire Bobcat nation, which probably 30, 40, 50, 60 strong, just erupted. 
Uh, to me, that was a great moment, and for me personally, it's something I'll never yeah. forget. I mean, just an amazing moment. Uh, why did you hold that back from your team? Well, it was right there. I mean, they were down, and uh, I just wanted the. It was so close to the moment, and I just knew that the emotional lift that would be, and uh, I could g gather some alums and the assistant coaches there together, and like, you know, here's the deal. Yeah. Like, let's hold it right here. Let's 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 let them announce yeah. it. You know, and and. Uh, it was really the way it unfolded, um, you know, when the officials told me, you know, that it was tied, and they'd already told me I could tell the women earlier that we had won, and I thought he was talking about the women, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, well, Sharon's good, we're fine, you know, he goes, uh, he goes, but you, he goes, but your women want it outright, I'm like, oh, oh, come back, come back, what, what, what are we talking about here? He said, the men, I'm home, oh. you know, and so, you know, I was like, you talking about, you know, some good news, and. Uh, you know, we wanted to get out of there because we wanted to go to regionals because we felt like that we were in a position to run well on that course at Mansfield. We just had to get there, and you know, now now we're going to get that opportunity. So, uh, and and to get a couple more titles, uh, these kids work very hard, work very hard. Now, real quickly to make up that two points, a runner did not finish the meet from one of the teams, which bumped up everybody else. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, it was the way that the cards. I think there was a mix up with the cards and with you know who had. <laughs> Four teams in, who had five, and uh, you know, because I knew there was some confusion down there, mm -hmm. and uh, but uh, you know, when they went to the official was the tear tags, and the official was writing down the actual numbers of the athletes coming in. That's what's official, and and it came out 51-51. Yeah, I would be remiss if we don't give props to the Bobcat Nation. Uh, your track and field team comes over and supports the cross country runners along with other members of the student body. They were there and face paint and body paint, orange, just everything was black and orange. I mean, the meet was at Glenville State, but it might as well have been held at West End for all the support that you had. I, I know they went at different points of the course to cheer on your runners. Yeah. What does that mean? I mean? That just has to give your team such a lift to have all that support there. It really means a lot, I think, the third and fourth mile back here when you're hurting. And that's been a tradition here for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we did not know what kind of crowd we were going to have this year because with fall break. But they, you know, we... You know, we had a little meeting last week, and you know, we were talking about uh, the meet and who was going to be able to go. And, and we count, it was like 74 people, and they divided up into five or six groups and had a real game plan for being out on the course. And uh, you know, I got to hand it to my assistants because they took the bull by the horns, and you know, they all had a group and responsibilities for a spot on the course, and it really came into play. Yeah, great job by the student body and the track and field team. Congratulations for supporting the cross country team. Now, looking at you, Jesse, I know that you always like to. Uh, deflect any attention to yourself, but this was your 47th WBIAC crown, uh, your 42nd here at West End, and you also won the Coach of the Year award for the women's team, your 41st uh, Coach of the Year award in the WBIAC. How does, it, how does that make you feel uh, yeah. with, with those honors? Well, you know, I like the championships. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I don't get wrapped up in the Coach of the Year thing. I always, you know, tell my dad, I said, I'd give every single one of those back if it meant mm -hmm. we could get another team title in there, you know, a couple of them, that, you know, that have gotten away over the years, but, you know, what, what, what that means is that we've been blessed with a lot of, a lot of kids that have, that have came up big, because you say, what's a dynasty? It's not like uh, the Patriots or the Packers, 60s, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we've won, the women have the eight in a row, but five of those championships have been by single digits. Right. I mean, it could easily be, you know, broken up and only, you know, three or four in that bunch here and there, but it's, it's, it's falling our way, you know. There were times early in my career where we lost a few uh, short ones, but we've been, we've been really lucky, you know, in the past years that uh, we've been able to eke out a point. And it's interesting, there's been five ties in the history of the conference, and Wesley's been involved in all of them. Uh, I was there for four of them, and, uh, you know, like, oh, you know, tying, they say it's like kissing your sister, you know. I say ties beats the alternative, right? Right. Uh, it beats losing, so. <laughs> right. Well, for everybody that wants to check out the times and the standings, uh, please visit our website at www wbwc.edu, go to Athletics Cross Country and all the information is up right there. So, Jesse, I know it was uh, a great day. I enjoyed it tremendously. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, just an amazing, amazing morning and afternoon there. And uh, congratulations. Your team now moves on to the uh, NCAA Regionals, November 7th at Mansfield. We'll look forward to talking to you next week about the Regionals. Appreciate it, Glenn. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.